When you look at the history of gaming, it's had a large number of villains. Sometimes they only play a small role, such as a single boss battle or a quick time event, but other times they can become a main objective throughout the game. A good villain is hard to forget. They can kill you hundreds of times or even a character who's important to the story, and you still can't help but respect them. A good villain can make a game infinitely better than without them. A good villain can either make a game end with a player fulfilled or hungry for more. Today we're not just looking at the best villains in gaming, we're counting down the top 5 super villains in gaming. Please keep in mind that this top 5 is for my own personal picking, and each super villain needs at least one trait that makes them super, so you won't see villains like Boss or Rias on here. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> at number 5 we have Jacob Crow. A lot of you are probably unfamiliar with who this is. He plays as the main villain in the game Time Splitter's Future Perfect for PS2. Jacob Crow is a mad scientist who on his path to becoming mortal discovers the ability of time travel. With his new discovery, he uses it to change the past to make him a god. But in doing so, he causes an alien race to attack the Earth, and it's up to you to fix everything. With each time period you enter, you get to see Jacob Crow on his path to becoming a psychopath. From being basically Dr. Frankenstein to a hippie, all the way to being Doc Brown, it's quite fun trying to stop him. At the end of the game, Jacob Crow finally achieves his vision of a god, and it's up to you and yourself to defeat him. It's one of those games you have to play to understand the story, but either way, Jacob Crow is a funny, entertaining, and overall good supervillain. The Prophet of Regret is one of those villains that are fun to hate. In the Halo universe, the Prophet of Regret plays the role of the leader of an alien armada called the Covenant. His sole purpose is to take his people to a heaven-like realm through the use of ancient planet-sized rings. Little does the Prophet know, the rings were created to wipe out all life in the universe to stop an infection known as the Flood. Before Regret's demise, he betrays his own people, kills off main characters, and overall makes you angry. It's absolutely satisfying seeing his death, even if there isn't a boss battle. When I first bought Borderlands 2, I didn't know what to expect. I just assumed it'd be similar to the first game. Never did I think Handsome Jack would be such a wicked supervillain. In how many games do you see a previously playable character get killed by the main bad guy? So. But not only that, Handsome Jack is all out ruthless. In a way, you feel bad for having to kill him. He's just too funny and plays a perfect supervillain. Come and get me. At number 2 we have Zinyak. A character you would never expect to see in a Saints Row game, he does a great job of being a supervillain. Classy, evil, insane, all the characteristics of a James Bond villain. And besides, how many supervillains do you know that have blown up the earth? I felt a great disturbance in the force, as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Plus his boss battle and death are quite satisfying. Number 1 wasn't easy to pick. There's a lot of supervillains that could have taken the top spot on this list, so I kept in mind all the elements that make a supervillain and chose very carefully. In the end, Albert Wesker takes a cake as the number one supervillain. What can I say? He fills all the categories and beyond. Just by saying his name, you know you're talking business. From a member of stars to trying to reshape the world in his image, he's done so like a pimp. You couldn't hate this guy if you tried. And the boss fights with this guy is like trying to catch bullets. Or should I say, dodging them. He's the only supervillain I feel bad for killing, but he even made his death amazing. So there's my list for the top 5 supervillains in gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed and somewhat agreed. If you'd like to suggest a top 5, please leave a comment below. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Zombie!